This is the North Pole. Looks pretty boring, doesn't it? It's all ice floating on ocean with no land for miles around. But what is the closest land to the North Pole? What is the northernmost point of land on Earth? The northernmost point of land in the world is somewhere off of the coast of Greenland. The northernmost point of mainland Greenland is Cape Morris Jessup. It was discovered in 1900 by Robert Perry, who might have also been the first person to reach the North Pole. His claim is disputed, however. A few thousand feet north of Cape Morris Jessup lies Kafaklubin Island, or in English, Coffee Club Island. Why do I say a few thousand feet? Because measurements differ, and they differ wildly. For example, the Geological Society of Denmark will say one thing, Cambridge will say another thing, and Wikipedia, being Wikipedia, will say another thing. You can't even use Google Earth because it goes all funky northern Greenland. Perry also sighted Kafaklubin Island in 1900, though nobody landed on the island until 1921. This is the undisputed northernmost point of land on the planet, period. Past this, people have definitely seen islands that are farther north, but the issue with these islands is that nobody knows if they're permanent or not. Many of them could simply be gravel banks that aren't even attached to the seabed, and NASA says that gravel banks are not generally considered landmasses. The first disputed piece of land that's farther north than Kafaklubin Island is Udak. Forget about this one, 1997 KMS. I can't find any information about it whatsoever. It lies somewhere less than a mile north of Kafaklubin Island, but it's just a bank of gravel, and these aren't usually permanent. They'll usually be washed away by the sea in some years. It was discovered in 1978, but recent expeditions have found no sign of the island, meaning that it might have been submerged or washed away. Another contender? This one was discovered relatively recently, in August 2021, and is called Kekertak Avanarlek. The island was discovered when researchers were attempting to find Udak when they found this island, which lies 2,560 feet, or 780 meters, northwest of Udak. This island is also probably only a temporary one. Next, there's Stray Dog West, but this island is submerged during high tide. It was discovered in 2007 by a team led by Dennis Schmidt, an explorer from UC Berkeley. Further north to this is ATOW 1996, which was discovered by the American Top of the World Expedition in 1996, and there's not much information about it. After this, there are various small bars of gravel that have allegedly been sighted, but there isn't much information on these. Most of them don't even have names. The final, and the one that's the farthest north, is called 8342, after its latitude. It's 432 miles away from the North Pole, or about 695 kilometers. Dennis Schmidt, might have, first seen the island from a plane in 1996, and set foot on it in 2003. This island is interesting because it might just be permanent. Lichen was found on the island, and the fact that it might have been up for seven years points to the fact that it might just be permanent. Its highest point is also 13 feet high, or about 4 meters above sea level. Those are all of the candidates as of March 2022. In future years, there may well be more discovered. So, those are the candidates for the northernmost piece of land on Earth. If you liked the video, then be sure to subscribe and like. If you didn't like the video, then press the dislike button twice, and then for good measure, press the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching Explained. New videos, every other Friday.